tout crie Welcome. Hello. Hello. Welcome, I'm Tuki. Welcome. 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 Woo! Welcome. Thank you. Yes, please. May I take it down? Oh. Can I? Uh, is it hot? No, it's hot. Okay, so pour in one, please. I can put both, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, we have a cold one for you. Yes. You have the cold one? May I yeah. run? Do you, do you have a container? Yeah. With water? Okay, can I? Yeah. I'm praying. Is everyone ready? Yes. May I have my music, please? Thank you. Time. What kind of experience do I want to share with you today? This question brought me an invitation when I started doing my Brewers Cup Championship. By trying to define which coffee is the best coffee to share with you, I realized there's so many limitations and bias on how this presentation should be shaped. So now, let me walk you through my coffee journey. More importantly, how I made my love. The coffee and the experience that I truly want to share with you. Back in four years, my coffee journey started on the same stage. Throughout this year, I'm so glad that I have the po possibility to learn and grow with all these amazing people in the industry. But today, more importantly, I would like to share with you how I got here. Back in a few months, me and my team, we were trying every single crazy coffee that we have in our roastery. We got overwhelmed by trying to define which one is the best. I realized we always follow the same framework for championship. So I decided to drop all my perception. I decided to do a brine tasting together with my team. And here we are. That's the one that we choose. So, today, I would like to create the same experience with you. I will share with you all the brewing information, but review the coffee information later, like how I had it. All right. Let's get started with the most important thing. 98% of your cup is water. To get the best out of this coffee, I decided to make my own water with calcium and magnesium at one-to-one -one ratio. With this, we can extract the best out of it. After that, as you, had, as you can see, I have chosen the Metal V60. The reason behind is this can bring me the best clarity of cup profile throughout the entire serving time, from hot to cold. So, now, let's focus on the coffee. I roasted this coffee five days ago on a hot air roaster. Coffee is grinded 20 minutes before I got on the stage in order to reach the peak performance of this coffee. As you can see, coffee is grinded in close grind setting. To pair with my five four screwing method with strong agitation, which allows me to extract the coffee evenly with clear layers as a result. Today, I'm using 20 grams coffee together with a total amount of 300 milliliter water. Coffee to water ratio is one to 15. I start my bloom 
with 50 milliliter water and 93 degrees for 35 seconds. Followed by 70 milliliter and 60 milliliter at the same temperature. I find now, with higher temperature for the first three pours, can give me the best balance between sweetness and acidity. The last two pours, I will do 88 degrees. The reason is, I find out this can give us a really sweet aftertaste together with a really comfortable mouthfeel, syrupy. So, this market down for me in this cup today, aroma, you will find cherry blossom, followed by hibiscus. In hot flavor, you will find mango, followed by strawberry, and again a hint of hibiscus. It turns warm with pineapple, blood orange. So, for the aftertaste, it's really sweet, pomolo-like, really comfortable. In acidity, hot, medium high, tartaric. It ends cold and warm, citrus. The body, when it is hot, it's really syrupy. It ends cold and warm, juicy. The total brewing time today is to 2 minutes, 45 seconds. So, really cannot wait to share with you about this aroma. But, give me a second. Let me introduce you the glass that I'm using today. Today, I'm using the Aurea Sense glass. The reason that I choose the glass is because there's a wine glass-like body, steep angle, to concentrate and collect the aroma to give you the best sensory experience throughout the entire cup. So I highly recommend you, no, it's not a recommendation, please drink it directly from the glass without your cupping spoon throughout the entire cup. So, let's assess the aroma directly from the garage, please, by swallowing six times. Please enjoy. Please enjoy. Honestly, this aroma never failed to make me smile. This works like a natural mousse booster for me. So, after assessing the aroma, you still don't know what is inside the cup. Let me proudly introduce you and present you Colombia. And the Arabic natural. Sudan Rume. From Immaculada. Immaculada located in Andes Mountain, 1,900 meters above sea level. It takes the gift from nature, altitude, weather, 
Rainfall works hand in hand to nutrient our beloved Sudan women. And the Hogan family extend the gift from nature to us. The cherries are 72 hours and Arabic fermented. After that, natural slow dry for another 28 days on waste bed. This creates this syrupy mouthfeel, this crispy acidity, and a really nice syrupy mouthfeel. So, throughout this journey, I'm so glad to learn a lot from coffee, but my key takeaway from this championship is to enjoy the coffee that I'm brewing, to enjoy the process, to enjoy the friendship around me. I remind you again, please enjoy it directly from the glass. So, I hope you like the coffee as much as I do. I, I'm so happy to have you here today to share my passion, my journey, and of course, the coffee that I enjoy brewing with. Thank you so much for your time. time. Großen Applaus für Zuki. Zuki. Do you mind coming up front? Let's have a short talk oh. about your performance and anything you're, you want to share with us, of course. Well done. <laughs> Relief? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Whew, yeah. Take a deep breath. <laughs> the water. The water. <laughs> no. I know. All good. I didn't ask someone to take it. I took it. It's what, no? <laughs> it's always good if you realize afterwards. No? Yeah. No, but seriously, uh, very well done. Great performance. Share some insights with us. So. How was the shift? Because you're known as a latte artist. Why Brewer's Cup? So I think um, back to the time when I was training with Latte Art, it's always like you have kind of the same routine. At some point, at some point I find out like, what else do I want to learn? And then I get into brewing because of the company that I work. Now I even start roasting my own coffee by myself for this championship. And yeah, I think it's a cool step, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I enjoy it a lot because there's so many things to learn every day. So, so much because like compulsory is really maximize our potential in life. <laughs> it does, yeah. Yeah, and then it's like we always need to get the right recipe to brew the right thing. And what are we changing for the next? We always need a plan. If we talk takeaways, what's the biggest takeaway you have from this championships here? I think it's like what you said, cheese, you know? <laughs> Have fun. Good. A very good thing. But of course, let's Thank say you. bye Enjoy. to the judges. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. So that was the biggest takeaway from, I guess, Love Dirt, yeah. which mostly is more pain than happiness. <laughs> I think latte art is, is, is completely different things. It's yeah. really completely different things. Brewers is like, to brew my own coffee is not hard. But then to roast at the same time, this is something that I never do in life. So it was pretty challenging. I put my bag of coffee next to me last night, just to sleep together. <laughs> so you're very familiar yeah, and like, yeah, you're a good friend. You're going to be sexy tomorrow. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. Good. And you're happy with the brew and everything? I think it should be all right. Yeah. It's way faster than I should, but it's better than over. We'll hope so. It's always like that. <laughs> Good. Well, thanks a lot for sharing your thoughts about coffee and goes and applause for Tsuki. Thank you. Well, nah. Thank you. Very well done. <laughs>